this is Bandicat and welcome back to another video. In this video I will be sharing with you my thoughts on adopt versus shop. So now this is a very widely known topic and basically if you don't know what it is it's the point of should you adopt from a shelter or should you buy from a pet store and a lot of people's opinions are strictly only adopt you shouldn't care about the animals at the pet store because you don't want to support um, what the pet mills and where the pet stores get their animals from and that's how a lot of people see it and actually for being such the animal lover that I am if you've seen my other videos um, go check them out if you haven't but if you see my other videos you've seen how many animals I have and I will also do a new animal room tour for you coming in July so look for that but you've seen how many animals I have and if you've seen any of my videos you know how much I care for these animals and so it's surprising that I don't agree with everyone else and here I am sharing my opinion with you okay so my opinion is who cares <laughs> who cares where the animal came from it's like yes maybe you don't want to support that but even if you don't want to support it you're still leaving an innocent animal there to die and they didn't choose to go to the pet store they didn't choose to be born in a mill you can't choose where you're born it, you, even humans we can't choose where we're born we come into the world in whatever lifestyle we have we can't choose that and neither can the animals so it's not fair just to say oh this is a pet store animal it's it's just automatically evil you can't buy it because you should just let it die and you should just adopt instead that's not fair to say that and I have kind of this little metaphor and I think it might help you understand better on why that is okay so the metaphor is imagine that your home country doesn't matter doesn't matter what where you're from your home country drafts you into a war and they'll send you anywhere they want in the world because you're in the army you have to go wherever they say right so you're sent overseas or something like that well you do very hard you do your job for your home country and then when it's time to come back your home country says sorry we're going to bring this other troop home instead of you and we're sorry about that but see this other troop this other troop is where every, what everyone's telling us to bring home. So we're going to bring home them, and we're just going to leave you to die there, basically. We're just going to leave you there, and you have to figure out some way of how to get out of this. And what that means is it's really not fair, because you did not choose to stay there. You did not choose to be sent. You did not choose to live there. You did not choose to be there. You want to go home, right? That's exactly what an animal is. The animal did not choose to get sent to a pet store. The animal did not choose to be born in a mill. You did not choose to be drafted. You did not choose to be sent overseas. But you were, and you can't change that. And see, by leaving the animal there, you're saying, sorry, but everyone else is telling me that I should adopt, and I shouldn't buy you, even though you're probably a perfectly nice animal, and you did not choose this, but I have to leave you there. Just to die, or to be bought by someone who doesn't know what they're doing and will give the animal a horrible life. So you really have to think about it. Does it really matter where an animal came from? Now some people are still saying, yeah, but I don't want to support the mills. It's like, well, so you're, you're, you might be saving thousands, even hundreds of thousands, but you're letting one die. So is, it, is there, tell me honestly, is there really justice if you're saving some but killing others? I think it's just equal. You can't just let one animal die. Maybe it is for a good cause. Maybe that is, but it's... How, how would you feel if you were that one soldier? One soldier who did not choose any of this. You did not want to be here. But they just said, sorry, for the greater good, we have to let you die. I mean, yes, you'd be willing to die for your home country, but you wouldn't appreciate that you didn't get a say in any of this. It's just it was decided by others and not by you. So is it really fair to say that, sorry, because you were born in a mill, because you're at a pet store, you don't deserve to have a home? I don't know. I guess that's up to you to call. I guess what I'm saying is that just really think about it the next time you go to a pet store and you see an animal. Don't impulse buy. Never impulse buy. I'm not saying that. But just really think about it 
that the animal did not choose this and they don't want this. They want to go home just as much as another adopted shelter animal. So I don't really think where the animal comes from, where that does not matter. But what does matter is that you give the animal a good home where they will be loved and cared for properly. So with all the other adopt don't shop um, philosophies out there, that was mine. And please don't have any negativity on this video. That was my opinion, and it is really set in stone. Um, so it it you it can't be changed. That's what I honestly think. Um, so yeah. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope I was able to change your mind, even if it was just a smidge, about how pet store animals are perfectly fine to have. Now you do have to think that these are animals that came from mills and that you will might have to give more care to them, more TLC, um, and you might even have to pay vet bills for them, but I really think that these animals, they didn't choose this. So they're, you're still saving them. Just like you're saving an adopted animal, by buying from a pet store, you're still saving a life. You're saving a life from the misery of this, of the pet store life. And these animals, they've already went through a lot, being born at a mill, being brought to a pet store. So at least try to give them a good life. Um, so yeah, once again, please, no hate on this video. Just my honest opinion. And yeah, I hope you all have a joytastic day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!